But first, Dan McDonnell, you're uh, at the Tallis Stadium where it's gone full time Ireland against the Dutch. Yeah, a 2 0 a win for the Dutch, Joe. And I mean, we spoke about it earlier in the show, and I think once, once, you know, once the Dutch scored one, they, they certainly weren't ever going to do anything but win this game, really. It sort of was one of those evenings. But, um, I, you know, at the same time, you know, the, the Irish team they sort of defended pretty well at half time when there might have been a fear that, uh, you know, from half time, there might have been a fear that, that the Dutch would go on and open up. Um, but they were decent enough in the second half. They kept a sort of a solid shape and, and they're still in this campaign. So, you know, going gung ho and taking a heavy beating, you know, could cost them when it comes down to the real hunt for, for playoff places later on. So, and, and the battle for second. So, um, you know, the, 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 there was steps forward here. There was a record crowd of over 4,000, which is a, you know, the, the biggest attendance they've ever had at a, a home competitive qualifier for the Irish women's side. And, to be fair, I think most of them enjoyed it and, and understood the golf in class and, and sort of hung around afterwards to give the team a good enough response. So I think they realise, you know, they've come a long way. They've, you know, a hell of a long way to go. Many, many years to get anywhere close to where that Dutch team is in, in every sense of the word. But um, they did OK in the end from maybe a, a worrying opening 20 minutes, which, which meant your fear was going to be a, a grim night. Yeah, two early goals and in the context of just how good this Dutch team are and the number of goals that they've scored against very good teams and even just the other week, uh, they beat Northern Ireland 7-0. All of that after the first 15-20 minutes spelt big, big trouble where goal difference could come into effect in this World Cup qualification group. So uh, they'll never say it publicly because you just couldn't admit to being happy with a loss, really. But 2-0, um, I think, in his uh, quiet moments, Colin Bell will say that is fine, not least because of our draw away from home against the Dutch. Yeah, and that's, that, that may well turn out to be a point on the field. I mean, the Dutch have won every other game they've played in this group. So that still remains a, a notable point. I mean, the key for Ireland is that they play Norway uh, twice in the in June, uh, home first in Tala, and then they, they play away. And I mean, Ireland are now a point. Well, Norway, as it stands, looks like they're going to win away in Northern Ireland tonight. It's eight minutes to go. They're only one 0 up actually. But um, if they win that game, there'll be a point in it with Norway having a game in hand. But really, Ireland played them twice, so it'll be the head to head in those two games. The results of those two matches that that really figure out where Ireland go. They've only got three guys left in the group and they're in the playoff places as it stands. So they're doing well. Um, but at the same time, uh, Norway are a pretty accomplished side. They would be, again, you know, more advanced as a sort of a professional football nation in terms of the women's game. So it will take a big effort. But I, I mean, to be fair, they'll need to show a bit more and check and intent against them um, than they did tonight when there was a, a huge sort of park in the bus element. But... Um, you know, I, I think they'll feel that they've still made steps forward and, and that, you know, a result is achievable when that game comes around. Um, but, the, you know, they, they, they've got a way to go and, and I think, you know, there shouldn't be sort of unrealistic expectations placed on, on the team either. But they've mm. certainly achieved a lot by putting themselves in with a shot of qualification. That hasn't happened too often in recent memory. Yeah, it's d- a double header against Norway lies in store. Yeah, exactly. So that's I mean, and and the, I mean they got a record crowd tonight, four thousand people on a on a cold night with a Champions League distraction, a pretty significant Champions League distraction. Yeah. The Norway game is June the eighth. Um, you know, the, 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 there'll be a shortage of other distractions. I think around that time, um, and you would hope that people realise. And I don't think people will go away too deflated by this defeat. I think they'll realise that is the big game, and it's very possible. Uh, to aim for a bigger crowd and 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 maybe create something of a of an atmosphere um, to to get a result. I mean, they will need more of the ball certainly than they had tonight. Um, but I, I think I'm sure this will be written down as a as a big learning exercise for this group. Yeah, and and was the biggest gap between the two sides technical or physical? Yeah, it's, it's just a bit of everything, really, yeah. Joe. I mean, I think the. the I mean, this, we spoke earlier again about the sort of the, the calibre, the profile. I mean, the Dutch side are European champions. They, they, you know, Colin Bell described them as the best side in the world. Mm. Um, and they were capable of doing things with the ball that the Irish players weren't. Um, there, was, there was an element of physicality. Uh, there was just an element of their sort of patterns, their play, their passing. They were great to watch, really. They were great to watch, to be honest. And there was, there was just spells and play where, you know, the, the Irish team just sat in and <laughs> tried to, you know, Build a wall as such, and, and asked Ireland to play, asked Holland side to play through it. And I mean, they didn't necessarily create stacks of chances in the second half. But the, the flip side was, I guess, they were 
they were comfortable, they were turning it up, and they did a professional job just to see it out. Yeah, um, okay. it was, there wasn't really anything to speak of at the other end, uh, bar some spirited efforts. So they, uh, I, I would suggest, you know, in the nicest way possible, they didn't necessarily get out, go through all the gears tonight, but they did enough to win. Yeah, okay. Well, you're there for the Irish Independent this evening. We thank you for your time. Thanks, John.